So hey everyone, I'm back at the cubicle main office. I will be making some sponsor cubes. So coded and treated megaminxes for Juan Pablo, who set the world record in megaminx at nationals. Um, nationals was okay for me. It was my seventh nationals. I've been to 2008, 10, 2011, 2015, 16, 17, and 18. Um, I have to say, this was okay. It was an okay Nationals. Um, that aside, that's personal business. Um, so, seminars. Uh, some people have been asking for seminars. Um, I'm just going to go a quick rundown. I made a project that can scrape um, your turns from cubing with a, with a camera. It uses computer vision. Um, you might be wondering, with the Go Cube, or the Geeker Cube, uh, this already does it. And like this thing, it turns pretty well, and it's pretty good at what it does. Why would I need some other tool other than this to record my solves? Well, Argentum is the computer vision project, and it works with any puzzle. I'll include a link to the seminar thing in the bottom. Argentum, the cool thing about Argentum is this is not WCA legal because it has implications for cheating. Argentum works with any video, well not any video, any cube. You just need the right lighting and a tripod and the camera at this angle. Now, it can work and do these things, but why? It doesn't seem logical to have to buy a really high-speed camera and all that stuff. Um, so basically the next step of Argentum is to use deep learning. So deep learning on face recognition can work with partial faces, it can work at different angles, and to get that to work with cubing, it's a little hard because you need an initial data set to make it work. The cool thing is with this thing, you can use it to create an initial data set because people do averages of thousands. Um, and then we can train a network, get the algorithm in about a few months, and then have a computer program that can go through every video on YouTube ever put out about cubing and then get the algorithms. So anytime someone uses an algorithm or some special really elegant F2L thing, this will record it, put it in a database, and then other people can use this tool to train. So as you're solving, it will look at your turns, your moves, your algorithms, and then tell you better ones so that this is the end of secrets. No one will ever have secret things ever again. And then the propagation of data from the top competitors to everyone else, it's going to be an unprecedented wave of algorithms and information. Um, it's probably going to be out next year. Uh, this is in my seminar. Uh, let's backtrack a little bit. So what I have so far is just a basic thing. It works by getting the frames when every time you have nine stickers showing on the top and your hand can cover it. And the change between state A to state B, between a good frame and another good frame, all the bad frames are ignored. It can actually understand those frames and then extrapolate your moves in between things. And it wouldn't just extrapolate them optimally, it would do it like a human. Um, another thing is uh, it can ignore skin and contours. You can see in my presentation that I linked below, it will track the cube as you move it around in three-dimensional space. Um, so you can do fast movements, you can do all that stuff, and it will still follow you around because it can tell the cube, the contours of the cube, the features and things from your hands because cubes are distinct objects. Um, so that's my seminar. Uh, let's talk about project updates. Um, Codings. So I made a tool to scale up. We might have coded and treated 4x4s. Uh, gamma treatment. So here's the thing with gamma. Um, in chemistry, there are a lot of things that come up afterwards. So I've been quenching gamma in water. And what I noticed is the plastic's actually absorbing water into itself. And I realized this is just something I learned in undergrad. The gamma compound is acting like a phase transfer catalyst and it goes into the organic phase and it's soluble with the water and I think it's carrying the water in. So I've been trying other uh, things and where is it? Okay, here's one partial example. If you can see 
Oh, uh, you probably can't see. This is slightly purple. Um, it's slightly discolored. The goal was to see if this could absorb DNM. Now, I quickly realized DNM is mostly water. Um, if I were to... this, I Let me backtrack again. I got this plastic to absorb some DNM into the plastic itself. The DNM is mostly water. It's a water-based lube. If I were to dip this, quench this, in the uh, raw silicone material, would it be able to absorb the silicone? So that's the next step. Um, silicone infused cubes. I've tried other things and they were okay, but there still needs to be a lot more research done into gamma treatment. So that's one of the things I'm working on. I'm working on a secret project. I let me let me let me mute this real fast. My messenger is going off. Um, okay, so gamma is going to be delayed by a few more weeks. Um, but I sent in. We made some coated big cubes, and they turned out pretty good. So that's coming up next. Um, compound V and X. We're currently in the process of training. We lost a package in the mail. This package was like 30 pounds of raw material, and it was hundreds of dollars, and it's gone. Like, it's crazy how like USPS has been perfect with all my other shipments, but this one shipment, it says it was shipped after like two weeks of saying it's not shipped, and no one can find it, and as a result, the timing of compound X and V are really late. So at Nationals, you may have noticed it smelled minty, that's because I had no scent compounds to work with. As a water-based lube, you have to use a water-based scent compound. Oils won't work, organics, pure organics won't work. So I had, I had to use what was on hand. So on hand, I had menthol and eugenol. So that's why the Nationals batch has a unique smell. That's a Nationals exclusive. But uh, the testers say that theirs smelled like Jolly Rancher. Uh, the end result, that's going to be available on our website, that's going to be that smell. So we're going to train some people to make that. The raw materials should be ending up here next week. I'll be here until Monday in New York, um, so we can get a lot of work done. So that's probably coming very soon. Expect some promotional material from Cubicle. Um, and I think that should be it. There are a few other cool things, um, but that'll come in time. So uh, that should be all. See you all in the next video.